Welcome back everyone, it's Evanhusa57 here. We are back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One and at the tail end of the double experience event. So today I have another video for you and this is going to be a tip on the best way to get power points. So, you know, those little pesky things that you use to level up your powers. And you normally get one basically every time you level, but you can earn extra ones once you reach level 70 by over leveling after reaching level 70. Now the problem with over leveling is it takes about 1.1 million XP to over level. And it's not guaranteed that you will get a power point in doing so. As you can see, I have 75 power points here on my paladin. And on my control wizard, I actually have like 95 power points. So I virtually have every single power that I could ever possibly want to use maxed out. So what you want to do is you want to keep an eye on the calendar. If you don't know where it is, it's under the social tab. Go down to calendar and it takes it usually a little while to load. But you want to keep an eye on it because they will show the events that are coming. So uh, right now it's a double XP event and that's the event that you're looking for and actually here at the end of April there's going to be another double XP event so you can watch the video and then you can get ready for it. Now normally you would go ahead and do quests and kill things and basically all of that leading up to uh, and during the double XP event to get the power points and you can still do that if it's your main character but like this is my paladin he's my alternate character so I wanted to do it the easy way and by doing that what you want to do is you want to go to the drowned shore uh, you want to go to reclamation rock fiery pit and spinward rise and you literally want to pick up and complete every single one of all of the vigilance tasks literally every single vigilance task you can get your hands on and I'm not gonna go through my quest log here because as you can see it's just absolutely full I literally have every single quest that I could possibly get in here done and I did them all right before the double XP came out and now what I want to do is I want to actually turn them in but to show you uh, most of the quests you will get like uh, go and kill so many of an enemy type or go kill this enemy and pick up so many uh, stone statues or whatever picking an item once you have all the requirements for the vigilance task complete the item can be deleted from your inventory with the exception of the quest specific items for the fiery pit the fiery pit quest specific items like uh, these iron torches and stuff those cannot be deleted out of your inventory as you can see I go down to discard and I can't discard them so those you'll be holding on to and they'll be taking up inventory space until you can turn the quest in now what you want to do is you want to put on uh, since the double XP event is out you want to make sure that you have everything on that gives you XP gain so in this case I'm gonna put on my inscribed garment set uh, go ahead and put those on. I ha already have Azor enchantments in pretty much all of my utility slots. So I'm good there. Um, but if you don't have Azor enchantments, you want to make sure that you go ahead and put in an Azor enchantment. So like uh, this Dragon's Horde enchantment, I could go ahead and uh, take that out and put in an Azor enchantment. Uh, as long as you have the gold to do that to swap enchantments it's definitely worthwhile doing now I will do that on this particular item I'm gonna go ahead and get ready so do you know bear with me for a second gonna go ahead and remove intact now it does cost almost three gold and of course you want to use as high a level as Zor enchantments as you can get I only have rank 5 so for the purposes of this video that's all I'm going to use because they're insanely cheap and I don't need a ton of points, power points on this particular character. If you need a lot of power points then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you use uh, things like you know rank 7 Azor enchantments. They're about 6,000 diamonds right now. And if you have the guild XP boon you want to make sure that you use that 
and then I'll go down here and I'll show you what my XP gain is. Just so you have an idea, my XP bonus at the moment is 61%. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to come to the areas to turn in your quests. We're going to start here in the Drowned Shore. And I need about 650,000 XP to get my first overlevel. So I'm going to go ahead and start turning these quests in basically as fast as I can possibly do it. And as you can see, I'm earning like 23,000 XP per quest that I'm turning in right there. And this is the low level area. I could easily earn 25,000 XP per quest for this area if I was using like rank 7 Azor enchantments. Uh, now you'll notice I don't have the shock troops quest because that quest is actually glitched out and uncompletable right now. So as you can see we're almost ready to level. I'm going to go to the second area. I only need 188,000 XP to go which is basically nothing out of the I mean 1.1 million XP to get a single over level is insane now you can get a lot of good stuff from the over level reward but you can also get junk too you can get up to 30,000 rough astral diamonds you can get a bunch of rank 5 and rank 6 enchantments you can get refinement point stones um, all things like that but what you're mainly going for is that extra power point so you can beef up your character so we come to the second area here and go ahead and turn in all of these quests now this area the quests are worth a little bit more they're worth like 24,000 instead of 23,000 so there's our first experience reward that means I've gotten 650,000 and Actually, at the moment, now you need, uh, because I've overleveled so many times, I need 1.6 million XP to overlevel. I almost need 2 million XP to overlevel. It's like, holy hell, that is an insane amount of XP. So, we know we already got 650,000. Just keep that number in the back of your mind, uh, because we're nowhere near close to done yet. And you could tweak it. Like I said earlier, you could use rank 7 Azor enchantments. Make sure that you have them in uh, you know, all your utility slots. Whereas I'm using Dragon Hordes at the moment because I don't care as much about the XP. You can also get some elemental aggregate and even the chance of getting unified elements. So uh, that's worth keeping in mind as well. Plus, you're making a bunch of silver, so you're going to have a fair bit of gold that you gain off of this. And, I mean, it is a little boring, but, you know, it's not too bad. Go through, turn all of those in. So that's all of the quests for this area. And, of course, you have Gutting Fish if you want to do that one, or you have that one done, you can. Now we're going to go drop a signpost and go to Reclamation Rock which Reclamation Rock is probably the more annoying of the four areas, only because of the fact that it's so far spread out that it does take you a while to do the quests. But once you get them all done, it's easy. Now I will say, don't do this too far in advance of a double XP event, because your quest journal will actually start to lag when you go in it, when you have this many quests. So, start off here in the first area of Reclamation Rock. I'm going to go ahead and turn in all of these quests and just rake in that XP. Look at all that XP coming. Almost uh, three quarters of the way to uh, my next overlevel. So, not bad there. Now, we're going to go to the second area of Reclamation Rock. Which, like I said, Reclamation Rock is an area that's pretty far spread out. And that's really what makes it very annoying. Um, you actually have four spots that you have to go to for quests in Reclamation Rock. Whereas all the other areas you only have at max three. And the Fiery Pit and Spinward Rise, you actually pick up all the quests in the same spot. So we're going to come up here. And this guy has a few quests that you'll get from him. 
So I'll go ahead and turn all of those in. Now we're going to go into the main area that you get the quest from, which luckily there's an entrance right here, so it's not too terribly bad. You do have to go through a loading screen, which makes it take a little bit longer than, you know, some of the other areas, but for the XP, it's worth it. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, why not just go ahead and do these quests while the double XP event is active? Well, the reason why you don't want to do that is it takes a long time to actually do the quests. Then you have to wait for certain quests to come off cooldown. Remember, they reset every hour. So if your timing is off, you could literally be off by one minute and you come back to get the new quests and you're a minute late. And you're just like, oh, damn, you know? I'm one minute late. Now you gotta wait a whole nother hour to be able to get the quests. And it's just not an efficient use of time. Plus, for the majority of the events, there's usually more than one event at the same time. So you'll usually have like double XP and a call to arms like we have right now, or double XP and double diamonds, or double XP and double refinement. I mean, pick your poison. But there's usually always a combination there of events. And that means that your time could be better spent leveling up other characters or actually farming for diamonds or something along those lines so by doing these quests you don't have to do them all at once you can do a few on one day and a few on another or do them in between queuing up for dungeons or skirmishes or whatever um and it's just a way to make a little bit extra you know it's basically min maxing so we'll go ahead and, of course, uh, wait for my graphics to load in there. Like, wow, Neverwinter. Um, amazing. That was weird. The game's like, you've earned too much XP. Go away. Got another elemental aggregate out of the deal. So this is the last area, thankfully, for Reclamation Rock. And there's that unified elements, which you need a lot of those for making elemental gear. And another experience reward so remember i had 650,000 xp plus i needed another 1.7 million so right now i've earned about mm, 2 million roughly i mean i earned 1.7 mil plus the 600,000 so it's actually about 2.3 million xp and i still have two areas to go so drop another signpost and now we're gonna go to the fiery pit. You can also do some other quests, like ones for the guild, stronghold, and things like that. But since those quests reset uh, every day, it's more efficient to just do those quests and turn them in and get the rewards from them. You don't really wanna hold on to them. The only ones that you wanna hold on to are your vigilance tasks. So now I'm gonna get to clean up my inventory and go ahead and turn all of these in. I had those three quests there that I didn't do simply because I could never actually get here at the time that they were available for pickup. It was really annoying and just very aggravating, but it's one of those things. So go ahead and turn in all of these quests. Go back over here, turn in the ongoing quests. And I still got a few more quests from this guy to turn in. Yeah. All right, so that's it for that area. Last spot, Spinward Rise, which is going to be the one that the quests are technically worth the most for. Uh, again, it's a easy area for turning in the quests because they're all in one spot. It's an annoying area for the fact that it's the hardest area in the game. Keep that in mind when you're doing the quests. Some of them, most of them are encounters, and some of them you might actually need help doing, depending on the level of your character. 
So we've already earned about 2.3 million XP. Let's see how much XP I will have by the time I'm all done here. Each one of these quests is worth about 26 to 27,000 XP. And man, as you can see, there are just tons of these quests. Like, it really takes you a long time to go through and do all the quests. It's just insane. It's not bad. Most of the uh, targets are only going to be worth about 15,000 XP, but that's okay. Got another elemental aggregate off of that. Come over here. The cult. Turn in the last of these quests. Just tons and tons of quests. Got a lesser resonance stone and another elemental aggregate because those are just random rewards that you can get from the quests. There's another experience reward. So that worked out. And last couple quests. So I had like 2.3 plus the other, you know, mil. I'm already basically over 3 mil uh, XP just from all of these quests. All of these quests that I turned in have given me about 3 mil worth of XP. I need 1.5 mil to get my next XP reward, which is kind of crazy. So what I want to do, I'm not going to worry about that right now uh, because I'm not going to be farming anymore. I don't have any more, uh, you know, quests to turn in. So I can go back to my manage item enchantments, destroy that, and go back to using my dragon hordes. Now I gained about 3 million XP off of that. But that was only using two rank 5 in, um, Azure enchantments. So if you were using rank 7s, and remember you can have a utility enchantment on your helmet, your gauntlets, your boots, your belt, and your necklace, or necklace, cloak, whatever you're using. So you can technically have a total of 5 utility, in slot, or utility enchantments slotted at one time. Um, definitely makes it really powerful. Uh, it gives you a lot of XP gain if you want to do that. And it's definitely worth, in my opinion, going and actually doing. Um, it helps out a whole lot. Now we're going to see, normally I would save these experience rewards until you have, like on the 28th, where you've got double XP, double enchantments, and double diamonds because no matter what you get you'll get a bonus reward but since I got three of them I'm gonna go ahead and open one and wow okay I got lucky on that I didn't get a PowerPoint but I got 30,000 rough astral diamonds so that's a prime example of why you want to hold on to those until there is at least a double diamonds event because on the off chance you get that diamond reward well instead of getting 30,000 I would actually have gotten 60,000 so like I said, I'm going to hold on to the other two, but you know, those 30,000 diamonds will be useful. And if I get any more power points, you know, later on, that'll be useful as well, because then I'll be able to get the rest of the abilities that I use up to level four. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure you leave a comment. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video and remember if this is not a double XP event that you are watching the video in then you're good just go ahead and check the calendar and see if there's one coming up if there is get your quest ready and you'll be able to farm for power points if you don't need power points at the very least you can go ahead and farm for those experience rewards because like you've seen, I just got 30,000 diamonds for free. So anyways, remember, smash the like button. Go ahead and share the video with all your friends. And subscribe for more content. Keep your powder dry.